Hi everyone, um, it's Tuesday early afternoon. I took the day off of work today because I'm still not feeling well from the air hunger and, and everything. Um, I did the three days of coartum over the weekend and um, it's just, it might be a little bit better but it's not. Um, it's not that much better. So I'm still struggling with that and um, just took the day today to rest and hopefully try to get it a little bit more under control. Um, but I wanted to not really do an update video but I wanted to talk a little bit um, and ask some questions um, about how all of you explain um, and successfully explain chronic illness and what it's like to live with the chronic illness and deal with it um, more on an emotional level um, and have you know dealt with things for a number of years or however long you've dealt with it and gone through all that you've gone through. Um, how do you explain that to important people in your lives, um, especially significant others? Um, so, uh, Eric and I talked this morning on the phone and it came up um, talking about how I have a tendency to not really talk about how I'm feeling and I kind of bottle things up and stuff them down and, um, and it, the conversation made its way over to kind of talking about how that relates to my illness and having dealt with it for such a long time and how I eventually get to the point where I just kind of explode or melt down is a really good way to put it. Um, and so we talked about it and I found it really difficult to try to explain in a way that made sense to him, that he could really grasp and understand what it's like to emotionally deal with being sick for such a long time and um, having so many things be out of your control and um, all of the unknowns and all the ups and downs and, and everything. Um, he's incredibly supportive and understanding and, you know, um, believes that I'm sick and, you know, all of that. So that's not any part of the issue, um, but it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of give him something to relate to that he can really get a better understanding of what it's like for me. So I'm wondering if any of you have things that have helped you to, to help people understand. Um, and we were talking specifically about like what happens when I get to that point where I just kind of blow up. Um, and I remembered there was one particular incident that happened with me that I refer to as the pizza incident um, that happened with my younger sister where she ate my pizza that was in the fridge that I had made and like it just turned into this thing where I <clears throat> like was angry and depressed for like days um, and it wasn't really about the pizza I mean it was about the pizza a little bit but it was about so many other things and it was just that the pizza brought it out um, and so that is that kind of thing is explained really well I mentioned <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna like keep making plugs for this book I mentioned the book Life Disrupted before um, and there is a chapter in here actually called Meltdown Mode that explains that really well. Um, and she had, she talks about this particular incident where, like, she was really tired and worn down and she'd been fighting an infection and just all these things were going on. And, um, she'd been out running errands with her husband for a couple of hours and, um, they finally at like 9 o'clock at night went to and ordered food to take home and she has celiac disease and so she can't have gluten so 
they were getting takeout from their local pizza place and all she could get was a salad and she eats salad all the time and she's so sick of it but she really likes honey mustard dressing so like that was her you know that was the saving point of it basically that she could have this, the honey mustard dressing so she got a Greek salad, the chicken, and honey mustard dressing, and they got home, and she was so exhausted, and she plopped down, and she took the salad out, and, like, the salad looked not appealing, and then she took out the container of the dressing and opened it up, and it was Greek dressing. And she got so upset, she just threw the salad and the dressing in the trash, and, like, her husband really didn't understand. He's like, you know, what's wrong? Like, what, do you want me to go get you another salad? Like, more food? Do you want me to make you something? And, like, it was, it wasn't about the salad, it was about so many other little things that had just built up, but it came out because of the salad dressing, um, and I can relate so well to that, um, and I told Eric about that, and, um, so we talked some about that kind of thing, and, um, whether or not that is just kind of going to be part of dealing with the illness or if the goal is to make it so that those kind of meltdowns don't happen um and it was I mean it was an interesting conversation and I think that it we had to we ended up not being able to continue the conversation because he was meeting friends for lunch but um it kind of it was hard for me trying to explain some of this stuff and um, it's always hard trying to explain what it's actually like to deal with chronic illness to someone who doesn't live with it and doesn't know what it's like. Um, and he's very honest about the fact that he doesn't know what it's like and he that's not something that he deals with. And he doesn't really have something that he can, um, that he can compare it to in his life. Um, so anyway, so do any of you have, first of all, do any of you have ways that you explain what it's like to live with chronic illness, especially the emotional side of it, but really any aspect of it, um, to your loved ones, um, to people who have not been there through all of it, um, or to people who have been there through a lot of it? Um, I find that it's easier to explain the physical stuff but it's harder to explain the emotional stuff. That's for in my experience. And then the second question that I have is, um, do you experience these kind of meltdowns? And are there coping mechanisms that you have to try to minimize them? Um, do you just figure that they're a way of dealing with everything? Um, what are your views and opinions on those kinds of things? Um, I feel like I deal with everything really well most of the time, and then every once in a while I just need to be angry and upset and sad and get it out of my system, and then I'm okay, and I can deal with things again. Um, so, and then also I guess, how do you explain those kinds of things to people who, are, who don't have chronic illness, who don't necessarily have those kinds of meltdowns, who don't understand that. Um, so, um, any, any experiences that you have that you can share, um, I would be really interested to hear. I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you soon.